Back here in Washington, the FAA held a long-awaited safety summit today following a series of near collisions at airports across the country. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg said there have been more mistakes than usual, but added U.S. aviation remains exceptionally safe. CBS's Chris Van Cleve is at Reagan National Airport with more. Tonight, looking for answers after months of scares in the air. From a disruptive passenger attacking a flight attendant with a spoon to more than two dozen injured in severe turbulence. Delta 1943, cancel takeoff clearance. And a series of at least seven close calls on runways in the last three months alone. The FAA held its first emergency safety summit in 14 years. I think I speak for all of us when I say that, and certainly the traveling public, when I, that these events are concerning. The most recent close call at Washington Reagan last week, where a regional jet taxied across a runway another plane was about to take off on. Boarding takeoff, boarding takeoff, United you know, 2003. These recent incidents must serve as a wake up call for every single one of us before something more catastrophic occurs. National there Transportation Safety Board Chair Jennifer Homendy. We're coming out of the pandemic. We are experiencing a time where we have a lot of new staffing and that requires training. For these incidents, we have to take a pause. Is the system stretched to its limits? It could be. Certainly it's a concern. Other concerns include increasing FAA funding and the need for more air traffic controllers. Miracle on the Hudson pilot, Captain Sully Sullenberger. Certainly during COVID, the aviation industry was really affected greatly. And so now we're short staffed, we're playing catch up. And when the system is under pressure, we're seeing these kinds of incidents pop up as warnings to not try to fly more than we should. The NTSB has made seven safety recommendations around preventing runway collisions dating back 23 years. So far, none have been fully implemented. That includes an early warning system for air traffic controllers. It's been installed at only about 40 U.S. airports. Nora. That's interesting. Chris Van Cleve, thank you so much.